Okay, we're at part three, so I'm gonna probably choose a bike again, or maybe just switch back to a cart. I don't know, I'll just do whatever, I don't really care right now. Yeah, we're just gonna do what we can. Doesn't matter. But anyways, we're on to the propeller cut. Featuring this set of tracks. I will let you know what I think about them in today's video. So. How's everyone liking it so far? The Wave 2. So far it's pretty interesting. Or there's a, there's a change in fixing that one part in Coconut Mall, which I'm kind of not a fan of that. I prefer them going back and forth instead of spinning around. Way to go, Nintendo. I'm not, I'm not hating you for that, but seriously. I'm not going to get used to that change. I don't think. Even if I haven't played it yet, but still. I just don't think I like that idea. Of them spinning around. Making donuts instead of... You know, going back and forth what they did in the old versions, that was way more fun. I was far used to that. Just have to watch out for him, bumping into me. Pooper blooper, yuck. Can't see a dang thing. What the heck? Yep. Sydney Sprint Tour. As you remember, in the first lap, you saw me going the opposite route from where it, where it just went with those ramps. I was like, what was the point of adding those until it got to the second lap, which is now? I'm like, oh, never mind. That's when I first played the game. I'm like, what What the? And then, oh. But, pretty cool twist. And turns going on. Which is actually really cool for the tour tracks in this game. Compared to just doing part of the tracks. You know... Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, I don't, I don't know. I have to look up that stuff. I haven't really been paying closer attention to what tracks are on each tour. I remember most of them, but kind of split my mind. I used to kind of keep track of them, but there's just so many now that there's 75 different tours we went through in all of Mark Art Tour for the past almost two years and like. Yeah. But anyways, that's the first race. We didn't struggle. Peach, you're a good, good player. Speaking of which, I played cup battles, and Peach is actually one of, you know, my good characters, my good teammates. Snowland. An underrated track that deserves love. I mean, I like, I like the music. I also like the music in Vanilla Lake, but that track's a little weird. But adding this track will be a piece of cake. It's just the icing on the cake, actually. But still. I like the music, though. Both the old version and this version is fine, too. Almost sounds Sweden, you know? Anybody heard of the country Sweden? Rosalina, you're going down. Yeah. I think she's my rival. Rosalina vs. Peach for Mario, the love triangle in the, you know, Nintendo ships. Super Mario ships, fan fiction edition. I'm sure some of you have seen SML, Super Mario Logan, as he used to be called, but he doesn't go by that because Nintendo basically, you know, made him, you know, 
stop using the Mario plush characters in his videos. And yeah, there's a bit of a love there was a bit of a love triangle at one point ever since Rosalina first appeared in his videos. Back in 2016, I think, yeah. Early 2016. Alright, Rosalina. Oh snap! Here we go. Okay. What else is there I could talk about? Besides what I've just been doing over the past video and a half. The weather, it's really hot. Hot where I live, it's hot in my room. Other than outside and in the whole house and the whole area that I'm in. Mushroom Gorge, another iconic track since Mario Kart Wii. I love that game and this track spawn too. Of the bouncy things. They actually managed to, you know, add the shortcut this time, and I was pretty surprised how they did. I was like, no way! That was so cool, it deserved the like. I just saw it early this morning. Yeah, we're gonna experiment and just show off the different routes you could take. I won't be doing the shortcuts cuz if only I had a mushroom, which I don't think I like or get, I doubt it. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
the champion top tier racer in this. Whoa. That's like a Rainbow Road vibe right there. It's kind of like a sequel to the Sweet Sweet Cannon that's in the Mushroom Cup for this game. Whoa. Yeah. You don't just have to take that route, you can also take this route. It's no big of a deal. No need to panic, everyone. Oh, flip. Wait till you get to 200 cc's. I promise you, it won't be easy. I played 200 cc's. I didn't play it on this track, but I know for a fact it will be hard. It's harder on every track, even the easy, basic, straining ones. But yeah. 200 cc's, I'm not a fan of. It's just too fast and, too, and also too difficult. I just have to start over every time if I want to try to get perfect score. Yeah, screw the fire flower in this. I always miss, and yeah, some items are just pointless. Like the coin item. Even if we're collecting coins, but still, I just don't care anymore. Good thing we got our banana. And there's another blue shell. What do we know? And it looks like we're in danger. Yes! Perfect timing. I got lucky. But now we got the perfect 60. We haven't got this many since the first DLC cup. But anyways, let's view some of the results, which I'm not going to watch, I'm just going to just skip up and go back to the title screen, because that's still be the end of the video, so I'll see you in wave 3 once it comes out, as soon as it comes out, but that's going to be a while, so please be on the lookout for it, because I plan to do all that stuff now and show off all the characters, so... If you have any suggestions, let me know of what characters I should use next besides the ones I just used for both this cup and the past, you know, three that I did in the previous three videos. So, see you next time.